Okay. Feel all right, man. Um, ready to bounce back tomorrow. Get a good win. Hopefully. Um, I mean, we usually try to play with a like more up tempo type of pace. Um, I mean, of course, sometimes we don't get into that all the time. But um, I think the biggest adjustment was his, you know, what I mean, his size, his ability to see the floor because he's bigger than a lot of guys, um, and things like that. And we miss him a lot def uh, defensive rebounding wise. Like they out rebounding us. And I think that was our first time losing a rebound battle in the past like five, six games, something like that. So. Yeah. How do you really get yourself going in the second half of that game, and how can you carry that forward? Um, I think the movement we had during the little stretch, I was I was scoring the ball. Um, I think that was something that was that we haven't done as much as we uh, should, and or at, at, as much as coach um, advises us to. Um, so yeah, I think that's why I kind of got into a little groove because we were just moving. They were chasing me a lot. So just taking what they gave me type deal. Coming off that crazy game, I know you personally struggled shooting it. Mm -hmm. How important was it to see the ball go through the net and end up to the point where you're getting a career high 22 points? Um, I mean, not necessarily seeing as I struggled shooting it. I thought um, they were on me. I, I a couple of shots I, I forced a little bit. And then it was like when I got open, I was like, oh, I'm open. You know what I mean? So I think it was more so a mental thing than um, anything like that. So I went to Indiana game just, you know what I mean? Whatever happens, happens type deal. I'm going to just take everything, take every punch as they come and um, stay stay even. You know, that was kind of like my mindset. When you play with someone like Zach Eady, how important is it for the guards to, to provide help to be kind of five-man defense, trying to slow big guys down like that? Um, well, I mean, it's the Big Ten. And most teams, their bigs are usually their best player or they run their offense through the bigs. So, I mean, that's basically what our defense consists of, you know what I mean? Um, all five of us guarding his team defense. And so we have fires, uh, migs, rovers, things like that. Um, so that's basically just how our defense is, is put together, you know? CJ, with a couple of uh, hospital virus you guys just went into, how comforting is it that you guys are getting back home? What kind of atmosphere are you expecting tomorrow? Um, I heard the game was sold out, so I'm excited for that personally. I know my teammates are excited for it. Um, and we need the fans to be like our six man, you know, give us that energy, help us um, get through lows or, you know, what I mean, it, it's going to be ups and downs throughout the game. So just help us um, get, out of, get out of situations with their energy. And um, I think that's definitely a lot. It's definitely very comforting to come back home and, and play against these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, de it's an opportunity to come and play basketball every day. Um, but to answer your question, it's definitely a great opportunity to play against the top five team at this stage um, on live TV. So it's, de it's definitely a great opportunity, and uh, hopefully we come out with the win. Yes? Thank you, CJ. Yes? For sure. Thank you, buddy.